All right. Uh, I said I would keep everybody updated on the uh, the smart meter deal. So uh, the girl from uh, FPL just called, and this had me a little concerned because I've been going back and forth uh, trying to email them, and apparently they've been trying to email me, and uh, nothing's been happening. I think it's probably due to all this rain. Anyway, this is a letter I just uh, unloaded, and this is from the FPL Consumer Advocate, Florida Power and Light, Miami, and it reads, uh, this letter is in reference to our recent conversation regarding FPL's Smart Grid program. We want to be as helpful as possible and to better understand your unique concerns while continuing to address the needs of all our customers through enhancements of the electrical infrastructure. The enhancements we are making to the electrical grid, including the deployment of smart meters, will deliver significant benefits to all customers over the long term, including enhanced reliability, lower cost, more detailed usage information so that customers can more actively manage their energy usage and bills. Please know that we are evaluating the concerns that you have expressed and need some time to determine best long-term solution. In order to ally your concerns, we have placed a hold on the installation of the smart meter at your property. In the meantime, please also be aware that in the unlikely event maintenance or a service interruption at your resident, residence requires a new meter, a smart meter may be installed because our maintenance and service crews only carry smart meters on their trucks. If your meter is replaced, please contact me and I will rearrange for a special meter change right away. We also want you to know that the Florida Public Service Commission, FPSC, has said that it will formalize a process through a workshop or other means to evaluate smart meter related issues. The PSC said the process would allow for full stakeholder participation. We support the PSC's continual assessment of the concerns expressed by some customers and we will work cooperatively with the Commission. Rest assured that we are committed to working with the FPSC to arrive at a long-term solution that serves the best interest of all customers. We respect your point of view and want you to be happy with the service we provide. Please contact me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, hopefully you can see this. Here's a picture up on my screen. Uh, that was my pointer. I've been trying to get the FPL. See that nice little cut there? That's up on my garage roof. Now i got to see if I can keep this in focus and point to the next one. Here's a picture of my uh, weather head. And over here you can see where it's all cut. And there's cracks here and more cracks. Here's another picture. Here again is uh, another nice little shot of it. My solar panels in the background. And then let's see, how do you make this thing work? And just more shots of the same. There's another nice uh, picture of it right there. You can see the cracks quite nicely, and there's some big ones over here. I and mean, you can notice the uh, the size difference of the wire coming in. That's a number two gauge wire, and that's a two watt going to my house. Okay, and I got 400 amp service. And here's another one. So you can see the cracks a little bit better. I hope. I hope I'm not messing this up too bad. There's another one. You can see them really good. Now I can tell you, my heart was racing when I was taking these pictures because. Uh, it's pretty scary, those wires. So anyway, that said, that is the update on the smart meter deal. And uh, they read my meter uh, Monday. Uh, it's been raining here nonstop, so I saw the guy come into my, uh, my backyard. 
and I've been trying to get things done. Matter of fact, I can give you a little peek. The water's actually going down, and there's the lovely clouds coming back, and uh, there's my meter, and the water's going down quite a bit, but the meter did come out. The water came away from the meter about 10 feet. You can still see the little pool there. And uh, he just shot a little gun at it and read my meter. So anyway, that's the update. Uh, FPL is indeed keeping their word. And uh, there you have it. That's it for now. So I'm going to uh, edit this and post this so everybody can see. This is moving along. And uh, maybe it'll stop raining one of these days. I've painted the roof on my camper four times already, and as soon as I get done, the uh, water washes, the rain comes down and washes it away. But anyway, FPL is keeping their word. And how about that? A company that actually doing what they said they're going to do. So I'm going to end it there, and hopefully this wasn't too long, but they are trying to accommodate me. So thanks for watching.